Hi there. <clears throat> I've been uh, away on vacation and for a couple of weeks now. Uh, I've managed to shoot a number of different locations and I've also made a couple of important discoveries about, uh, well, basically about my idea of simplifying my gear. Uh, this past week I did a one-day workshop in landscape photography. Since this was the first actual, I'll call it location, uh, workshop, I had done others that were related to a major event in the past, but this is the first time I went on a, a workshop at a location to try a particular type of photography. Well, I decided in my great wisdom that I needed to take my Pentax gear and all of my best lenses. I stress the term all. Well, I ended up carrying around a backpack with, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think I had six, maybe seven lenses, of which I really only used two. I took out two more and took a shot or two with them just to sort of justify the fact that I had brought them with me. But altogether, I, I basically, I messed up. I, I was not happy with what I had done because I ended up working very hard and being basically swamped by the indecisiveness that comes along with carrying around too much gear. You're always second-guessing yourselves. What lens should I use here? What lens should I use there? I would have been much better off if all I had brought was this much. Just uh, my smallest camera body with my smallest kit lens. It would have gotten most of the shots that I needed and wanted. And I would have missed out on very little. And if I missed out on anything, then, well... The smart way to look at it is not that you have missed anything, but the fact that you have now to take an opportunity to do something different from what you had originally planned. Anyhow, I wanted to pass on that little bit uh, of wisdom to you. Simplify. I've been talking about minimalism, I've been talking about getting rid of gear, I've been talking about simplifying, and by not following my own advice, I ended up uh, let's just say with an uncomfortable load that I really didn't need. From now on, I'm going to closely evaluate my needs. If I had gone with my uh, Pentax camera and the two kit zooms, the 18-55 and the 50-200, I would have been just as well off. Uh, most of the shooting was in bright daylight, most of it was at f8, f11. Therefore, these lenses are almost imperceptibly less sharp at those settings than my best lenses are. So the difference would have been absolutely minimal. Probably a little bit of extra sharpening or in uh, post-processing would probably have fixed it. So, I tell you now, as much as possible, keep it simple. Uh, one of the other attendees had a huge zoom ratio. They had an 18 to 300 zoom on their camera. They got fantastic pictures. Now, we often hear people complain about how soft these lenses are and so on. But you have to remember that we are hopefully trying to produce art not trying to produce technical accuracy only. So we can have the most technically accurate lens. We can have the sharpest lens. We can have the lens that produces the absolutely perfect image. Well, fire. I'm not going to say the word image because the perfect image implies something with feeling. Something that may have a story. That may evoke an emotion that may make people look again. Um, all they're going to do is pixel peep if it's just a technical picture. 
if all it's there for is to show off how sharp the lens is, then it's not really art, is it? Anyhow, uh, I'm back from my vacation. Uh, the rest of my photography, I did travel properly light. I did use uh, Micro Four Thirds gear because it was lighter. I did keep it down to a reasonable number of lenses. Basically, I used two kit lenses. Uh, I was very happy with my results. I have some great pictures of the second wedding reception for my son. He married in Mexico. Of course, not everybody could go there, so we had a reception in Newfoundland. By the time I got home, I had a couple of thousand pictures and the bugs of three provinces spattered all over the front of my car. Well, most of the bugs are gone now, but I'm still waiting my way through the pictures. Anyhow, guys, my message for the day is simple. Don't lug around more gear than you need. Now, there is a, a downside to this. You will always find yourself in a situation where if you don't take everything, you will wish you had. And all I can say is this. If you're going to be taking your car, and if your car is going to be a very brief walk, and you're not going to have to trudge down a beach and climb over rocks and walk through seaweed, then by all means take all the gear you want to take because then you just run back to the trunk of your car and get what you need. But if you're going to be out and about, if you're going to be walking, then simplify. Take what you need. If you're going to shoot wildlife, if you're going to shoot birds, yes, take the big lenses. But don't carry around a lot of other unnecessary stuff. Maybe you stick one wide angle in the bag with it. But don't load yourself down with a whole bunch of unnecessary lenses. I took a fisheye with me, never used it. I took two fast primes with me, never used them. Almost everything I shot that day was with my 14mm, my 16 to 45 zoom, and my 50 to 200 kit zoom. Those were the three lenses. Meanwhile, I had all those others that hardly saw any use at all. I think I took the 70 to 200 f2.8 out long enough to take maybe three or four pictures. I didn't do much of anything else with it. Now, like I said, make a decision. Be firm with yourself. Tell yourself what you really need. And of course, for those of you who are now into something like Micro Four Thirds, where the lenses are much smaller and much lighter, then maybe you can carry a bunch of lenses around. But you're still going to end up with the same problem on site, and that is making a decision as to which lens to put on the camera right now. And if you don't carry a bunch of lenses, that decision becomes a lot easier. And that paralysis of analysis that takes place when we're trying to figure out what lens we should be using, that's where we lose shots. Instead, learn how to make the best of whatever is on the camera at the time. Okay. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with this, but if you stop and think about it, in many cases it makes a lot of sense. Anyhow, if you enjoy this video, click like, please. If you would wish to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And, as usual, if you think that somebody is going to get something from this, please share it. Bye for now.